Uh, just the instructions for the Kennedy technique on applying the uh, open modality belt to a patient. So we're going to first start with the belt above the, the split in the table a little bit so it can be properly put on the patient's um, body. So you adjust these flaps based upon um, body girth, how big, the how big or small the patient is. So you should want to have them adjusted somewhere in the middle there to start out with. So you're going to have your patient come in the room, you're going to have them point their belly button put toward the center of the belt and lie down on the table. You want to make sure the patient has, you know, the uh, their belt. If they do have a belt on, make make sure they take their belt off and have their shirt loose so you can pull it up. As you want to expose the the, the uh, low back region, at least from L1 to L5. You might have to fold this up underneath the patient too, as well. The secondary strap here is, is used to help you apply the belt. So you just bring this up, connect it in. And just cinch it down and hold this up here for you. So you reach down and you grab this rail and you bring it up and you set it on top of the belt like so. And you bring each, each clip on inside and you connect them in. You just want to give that a tug at first to snug it up some. Now you want to do a cinching motion on each side of the belt. It's where you grab the bottom strap underneath here, force up and you pull down like so. Then on the other side. You want to make sure you put this belt a little bit more snug than the normal pelvic belt. You want to tension the belt and you want to hook your cable up to the ring. At this point you would apply your stem pads or you would do your do your ultrasound or your laser. You can also take and remove this strap after you already have the belt applied, so you have the open part of the back there, so you can do your do your modalities at the same time as the trap.